The first step in the process is to cut your design. I'm using this heat transfer vinyl or iron-on vinyl. It has one shiny side and one matte side. Make sure that the matte side is facing up when you put it in your machine. And also make sure that your image is flipped so that when you iron it on, because you iron it on this way, you want it to be right side up on your image so it doesn't need to be flipped. Once you have your design all cut, you can see mine is cut here, you're going to want to weed out all the negative. This design has one spot I'm going to have to be kind of careful with in the whisk because there's some pretty small pieces. I don't have one of those fancy weed tools, but I have found that just using this sewing tool, the sewing pick, works really well. So here's what my design looks like now that I've got rid of all the excess. Let's head over to the iron and get it attached to the towel. The towels that I chose to use are these flower sack towels. You can get these at Walmart or Amazon. Now when you get your towels, they're going to come kind of wrinkly at the end here. I like to iron mine nice and flat so that I have a really good flat surface to put the design onto. Now when you're getting ready to iron your design on, you're going to want to turn your dial all the way to the cotton linen setting or the lowest setting on your iron and then turn your steam all the way off. You don't want to have any moisture when you're ironing on the design. Now this step is kind of up to you. This is where you're going to fold your towel and decide where to place your design. For these towels, I like to fold them in half and then fold them in half again. Because for me, when doing laundry, that seems the easiest. So I fold them in half, fold them in half again, and then I'll place my design on the end here. Now that I've got my towel all folded, I've got my design ready, and I've got my iron at the correct setting, I'm just going to take my iron and I'm going to heat up the surface a little bit and try to get rid of any other moisture. Now at this point, you're going to want to place your design on your towel and try and get it centered the best you can. And this material here, this plastic, it's a little sticky so it, it won't slide around when you're ironing it on. It kind of sticks down so make sure you have that good and secure. When you're reading the directions for this iron-on vinyl, um, it says that you can go ahead and iron right on this plastic. But I've found that mine tends to curl a little bit, so I like to use another towel or just like a scrap piece of fabric and lay that over when doing the design. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to hold your iron on each section for 15 seconds. Make sure that if your design is bigger than your iron, you're going to want to hold it on each part of the design for 15 seconds. Once you're done, you can go ahead and carefully peel off this. And then I like to do mine again with just the fabric for another 15 seconds on each spot. Now I found with keep with these, if you notice that some of the ends are starting to curl up, it's pretty simple. Just lay this back down. This could be like after you've washed it or used it. Just lay it back down and iron it back on again. 
hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.